Tell my side, it says you're left. All right, everybody. Hey, guys. What's up, everybody? Hi, it's me. This is me, your girl, T.S. The T.S., honey, I'm loud, loud, and in color. This is the After After Show. If y'all follow me on you Facebook, you already know what it's given. This is the After After Show of the Star on Fox After Show, child. See, I, can, I, I ain't doing all that cussing and carrying on because Miss Mary in the room, but I might get a little bit more vulgar and stuff like that because I was on Facebook and, you know, that, that's where Fox be at. And I can't say all of them things and stuff like that because they be watching me. They be having their eyes on me, so I can't do them things that I be want to do. But over on Instagram, we on the ground. Uh, I don't know, Mom. You might could go over there and give me one of them pastry puffs. You could slap, go on and scoot the chair over there and give me one of them pastry puffs. <laughs> Go on and get me one of the uh, 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 they all want them calling me all night, honey. They, they, listen. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, they telling me I'm supposed to talk to about what you call it. All right, let them through. Come on, y'all. Come on. Is you live? All right. I bring, I bring, I bring me. Four, three, nine. <laughs> call it four, three, nine, zero. It's the star finale of the show sponsored by Fox TV, hosted by T.S. Madison. What's your name? Where you call it from? And what'd you like about the episode of season? Go ahead. Tell me the new pastry you want. What's up, y'all? This is Jamel. This is Jamel. And then I want to give a shout out to T.S. Madison and Miss Mary. And I also shout out to your Jamel. Hey! Come on, shout out! Yeah, I just think that. Alex should have stayed with Derek, and so I should have stayed with Noah because Noah and Star was like on the same like path. So you know, they was all over the place. So what so you thought they was made for each other? Should have stayed with Derek because you know she was with him um, because he was disabled, and she you know started to see him when he became disabled, and she should have finished it up. Listen, you if 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 you can't be with a man if his legs ain't working, honey, you ain't had no business trying to even start with that man. Now I ain't gonna sit up here and act like I'm gonna sit up here. And, I ain't gonna sit up here and act like I'm gonna tell a, a woman or, or or anybody to stay with a man whose legs ain't working because shit, if both of them legs ain't working, I don't know what the hell is going on with the third leg. So if the if the two legs don't quit working and the third leg ain't standing up, what he good for? He ain't good. I don't need it. He can't get up and cook me nothing to eat. But still at the same time, what is love? I mean, yeah, I can love him, but he can't, he, listen, he can't hit me from the bite. He can't hit me from the bite. He can't stand up in it from the bite. You get what I'm saying? What are you, listen. And I love you Listen, babe, babe, listen, but you got to be, babe, you got to be logical. Let me ask the people out here in the Instagram land. Instagram folk, now we was we talking about star. If your man legs, if both of your man legs give out, <laughs> and he got, and he, we don't even know if his dangling working, how he gonna stand up in you from the bike? If he can't stand up in you from the bike, right? He can't stand up in you. He can't even stand up at the stove to cook you nothing to eat. Don't you think it's time for you to go out there in the world and get you somebody else to love? You got the love on somebody. I, you know, I can love you, Mama. Listen, let me tell you something. I love you like a fat, uh, like a fat, fat chick. Love pastry roll. Pass me the pastries over here. I love you like a fat. But listen, you got to tell the truth, Mama. If you was with a man and that man was loving on you, and all of a sudden his legs done fell out, legs done gave out. I'm gonna stay on with him. You gonna stay with him? Maybe that's the hoe in me. Maybe that's the hoe in me. Why would you? Was she? Was she with him before his legs gave out? But mama, if his legs gone, you still. Why would you abandon? That's well. If his legs gone, the man can't even stand up to the stove to boil you a hot dog. He can't even boil you no hot dog at the stove. You just don't abandon people. You don't abandon people like mama. That. I'm a lover, but I'm, I got to get me some. Of this I need somebody to stand up in the front like of the bike. She was getting her some on the side, but. You don't all my ladies out there, all my ladies out there who loves to get stabbed up in from the bike, y'all know what I'm talking about. If a man ain't, can't stand up in you, what is he? What you can't do nothing with him? He can't even stand up at the stove to boil your hot dog if you need it. <laughs> what if he can roll over the stove? He gonna roll over there, but he but he still hands. got to stand up to look over in the pot to see if the, if the hot dog done. He got hands. 
they, they make stuff for little people. Y'all got little people in Atlanta. They got little houses. He don't have any pace, but he got it. Yeah. 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 He got other ways to please. Yeah. Okay, well, he, listen, I know a lot of ladies saying if the mouth works. So if the mouth works, y'all, listen, I don't know now a lady out there that really, that really, <coughs> that really got them a man. Now, if you're dealing with a woman, that's a different story. If you're dealing with a woman, and, and, and the woman got the got that mouth work, okay, I get it. But if you dealing with a man, most of the ladies I know, if he eat it, he gotta beat it. That's the kind of ladies that I knew when I was when I was out there in the yeah. when I was out there in the streets dealing with women's and things like that, like women's that I used to hang with. They used to say if a man, when a man eat it up, he got to beat it up. And they need that. They need that, they need that stiff rod in it. And he got to stand up in it from the bike. That's what I heard him say. And that's what I know. He got to stand up in it from the bike. All my ladies out there that like to get stood up in front of the bike, they ain't finna be sitting right here trying to go in the kitchen, frying no eggs for no man. I ain't now one of his legs working. The two, the two on the side and the one in the middle. I ain't now one of my legs. They may love on that nickel. They may love on that nickel. They may love on him, but they gonna have them a nigga out there in the street that's handling that because they gonna be with that th with the with the three legs not working man because he got an SSI check coming in there. The bills gonna stay paid. The bills gonna stay paid. And cute as Quincy is, cute as he is, you know you want him standing up in the bike with from you. Cute as Quincy is, you want him to stand up from the bike. Thank you, Carl. Carl, I love you. I'm sorry, though. I love you. <laughs> you done made the caller just like jump off. He's still here, but he's quiet. Call you there? All right, next caller. Too big. Call it too big. All right, next Which caller. One? Caller 2595. It's the soft finale after show. Sponsored by Fox TV, hosted by T.S. Madison. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what did you like about the episode of the season? One minute, go ahead. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. What's up? My name is, is Taylor. I'm from Philly. Hey, Philly. And, oh, my. <laughs> I am a huge fan of star. Oh, my God. And tonight was crazy. So, what you thought about it? Like, what you thought? Like, did you gag? Oh my God! Like, one of the things I've been saying all season is I knew, I knew Alex and Derek to get back together. Like I never believed in the whole Alex to know a thing. I was like, nah, they not. Doing it. I'm not feeling that. Listen, I'm gonna tell. Came running for Alex. He did, and they made you cry. They made you cry. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm gonna I'm 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 say some real. I'm gonna say some real SHIT. I'm gonna say some real SHIT, right? Okay, listen to me closely. So that you can understand. Okay. Noah is a dark skinned nickel. Uh, Derek is a light skinned nickel. You best believe that she done had her taste of the dark and the daylight. And I'm guaranteeing you, before Noah got on that cocaine, okay, before he went to snoring that, that, that white stuff, that alcohol, that, that, that drunk dingling, he was standing up in that from the bike. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that drunk diggly, he was standing all up in that thing from the bike. Ain't even she, she ain't know what was going on. She had missed that. She missed that because Derek, you know, you know, Derek, he likes skin. He likes skin. So he might have he might have had been touching a little. He might have been getting the tip in. But baby, no, I know Noah was standing. She was bent down. No was standing up in that thing from the back. She was like, no. Stand up, no. No, tear up! <laughs> tear up, no! Tear up, no! Tear up! You know. That's hilarious. So, you know. Oh my God! Somebody come and say she said they only do light meat, girl. You don't know what you're missing, girl. I'm telling you. 
When you see, you got to get you something real dark and black. <laughs> I know, but I just, it's just, I just, it's 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 just, Y'all women ain't had no thug in your life. When you get to a thug in your life, you'll be like, man, I need him to be black. He, that nigga got to be black. <laughs> but he, no, no one was toxic. Like, it wasn't, like, no one's toxic. Girl, that's the best kind of toxic. Because you don't know what he did. You don't know what he did. Like, you don't know what he did. That's the best kind of man to have is old toxic man. You got to have you a toxic man that's going to tear that thing up. Girl, I didn't say love the man and be with the man. I said let him tear that thing up. Let him tear up. What can he do if that that messed up? He's still dead. Miss Mary, you ain't had you ain't never had no drunk ding ling no, in your no, life. No, what I had. You talking about for a show, not what up? What I had. That that ain't none of your business. Okay, well. Uh, that 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 nah. I need to know who ain't had no drunk ding ling in their life. Come home from the club. That's how y'all all get pregnant at the club. You get that drunk ding a from the club. <laughs> Next thing you know, y'all pregnant. I just don't know why I let him do me like that. Why? I just don't know why. Oh, I just don't know why he do me like that. I slipped on it. I don't understand. Oh, my God. I didn't even know his name. They call him black in the city. They call him black. He had to stun up in that thing from the bike, honey. Both of y'all was dead drunk. You know what Trina say? On the back of the truck, if I'm dead ass drunk, but I don't get high, though. I never took it in the... Off the track, but I'll pass. Bro, for what I heard, it ain't bad. <laughs> Who? From Me. Oh, yes. Nobody talked about that yet. What, the song? Yeah, you shook. Yes, I, it took me back. Yeah. <coughs> it's like, <coughs> I bring, I bring, I bring uh, me. <laughs> I knew you were supposed to say it. <laughs> I bring, I bring, I bring, yes. I bring, I bring <laughs> me. Babies, baby. Boy, stop. I bring me. Me. I bring me. Oh, don't that make you just feel that song that I bring me song? I bring, no, the I bring me song make me feel it. And what's the song? What's the song? Uh, the, the song she was reading that she read them for filth. I was there for you, just uh, there for you. I was there for you. Yes, I got to download that. Girl, yeah, but I get you. I, I I feel that you're really soft and dainty and beautiful and soft like could like cotton candy. But see, I'm a hard. I'm I'm like Brandy. Brandy is not playing this season. She not play. She didn't play. Period. And I'm like Brandy. Yes, Brandy ain't somebody to mess with. I've learned that. Mm -mm. I'm a thug. <laughs> I feel bad for him. He's going through it. Mm-hmm. But he made that. He made that mistake by needing money so bad. Listen, this is why I tell y'all: don't ever in your life get out here in these streets and let no man, woman, or child. Have you so deep in need that you got to get out here? You and you got to you got to sell your soul for that. You feel me? Amen. You can't yeah. do that. Because I, I think Chris ain't want to play with. Yeah, but Carlotta been soft this season. Carlotta's for listen. We done seen. We done seen. Listen, we done seen Queen Latifah as Cleo. Cleo. We done seen her with her wig peeled back. Yeah. Right. Going ham. But as you get older, hold it tightly to the back, pulling gags. Man, Miss Mary, let me tell you something. The older you listen, you Man, might you God. over Miss Mary, you over there saved. And if somebody get your time the wrong way, you gonna be repenting, telling the Lord, forgive me for that what I just did. 
You may ask him to hold you. You may say, Father God, hold me in your son Jesus' name. But if I come over there right now and I walk around here like this, and I come all the way around here to the side, all the way back here like this, look at you, you red, look at you. Look at you right now. Look at you, you better right now. But see, look at her red right now. She red the thought right now. She said she want to get it. won't be you trying. You know what I'm You ain't going to try. But that's what I'm saying, though. We ain't going to have it. But that's what I'm talking about, though. You feel me? Not even in play. I ain't gonna but that's what I'm talking play. about, though. For real. Not now you child. see, you see now. That's she done already stood up, but you, but that's she, but listen, she ain't, ain't she no ain't, child. she ain't. ain't play time, I ain't play listen, but she ain't, ain't pray about that, though. She ain't pray about that. She ain't think twice about that. She ain't think twice about that. So, and she older than me. So my thing is. I want to see Carlotta next season, to be honest with y'all, being all the way 2000. I want to see Carlotta next season. I really want to see her gangster like Brandy. Right. Right. Like Brandy really brought it this season. Playing with us, like, I don't know. I'm telling I'm going to have to talk to Leah. I'm going to have, I'm gonna say, Lee, listen, I need you to give me that set it on Carlotta at least two episodes. Two. You get what I'm saying? Two episodes. Yeah, he teasing. I think season three, she gonna be real. She gonna be real that. That's what I want to see. She's tired of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, baby. I love you. Let us get these couple of more calls in here. Cause, cause listen, Miss Mary cooked some chicken back there. Listen, she, Miss Mary cooked some chicken back there, honey. She put some, some onions and bell peppers and some kind of sauce on it. I'm, I'm over here eating these, uh, these lollipops from Flat Tummy Tea. And and it, it, it suppressed my hunger early, but I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> I, 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 nice I love you, baby. Thank you. And tune in to the show Monday, Bye. honey. Bye, baby. Of course. Yes. Uh, okay, they say, are y'all right. through? Yeah, I'm doing a show Monday. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Hey, Kimberly Baker. All right, Jamel, come on. Let's get these calls through, child. Miss Mary cooked the good old. She cooked the good old. Uh, 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 uh. Goulash now. Yeah, we got two more, so you good. All right, let's go. All right. Hey, got it. Zero one two three. It's the star finale after show sponsored by Fox TV, hosted by T.S. Madison. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what did you like about tonight's episode or the season? Go ahead. One minute, call. Hello. Hi, baby. Hey, Maddie. It's Taylor from Baltimore. Hey, boo. What's up? What's going on? Child. How you doing up there in Baltimore, girl? You know I love Baltimore. You know I love the DMV all the way, baby. Oh, oh, baby. I know because, trust me, I didn't met you. Me and my best friend, Nakia. Yes. <laughs> and you know I done carried in D.C., girl. Yes. Yeah, I see. <laughs> but hold on. Now, listen to this. First of all, the thing is, I live for Star more than I live for Empire. Like, I was really tipping Empire to get the Star. Well, I mean, I... I want them to merge. Well, they're going to merge. This, this, this finale tonight, it had me in tears. It had me gagging. I'm like, oh, my God, who was on this plane? <laughs> <laughs> Dog, let me tell you one thing I never like to see. I never like to see stuff about planes going down. I get, I, I can't do it because I'm always in transit, girl. Right, right, right. And when I see so stuff bad. like that, girl, my stomach. At the end, I'm saying that like, okay, you know, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West was shaking. I'm like, uh-uh, Kalada, you wasn't thinking when you was running up your back and stuff being cleaned out. Yeah, but you got to realize, sis, that's her sister. So if you think about it, if you got to sit here and pull a pull the piss out and put it to your sister, right. you know, versus a versus a stranger in the street, then you you know what I'm saying? It, it just it is what it is, cause Hey, I'm gonna be, your yeah. In the I'm gonna be okay. more. Go I'm gonna be more like gagging on. Have to pull out on my sister now. If my sister got me to that point, right. I don't know. I ain't got no sister. You might know the crazy thing, man. Yeah. I thought they was about to bust out weekend or something. Like, girl, you really killed my. Yeah, it did give that, but like, this really showing me. 
this really showing me Carlotta really loved Hayil. Like, I didn't think she really loved him like that. But, I, but listen. No, Carlotta loved Hayil. She loved Cotton's daddy. But this just goes to show you what I was saying earlier. I said earlier that drunk ding that after the club ding a Maurice tried it. Maurice tried it. If she should have smashed the mess out of Maurice, like she smashed cotton. Yeah. She banged cotton. Yeah, now she should have put hands on Maurice more than she put her hands on her daughter. That's how I feel. I did when she banged cotton. Yeah, she did bang cotton. She did. I don't want, but see, I want to, I don't want her slapping cotton no more. I want her to slap them. And let me just say one thing. You know, Mr. Moe, Mr. Moe, my hair, her ponytail, my back ponytail was rocking tonight. Oh, yes. And that was the tick. Oh, yes. Now, Miss Star, her hair been a little messed up in the last few seasons, damn. You know Miss Bruce ain't been doing hair. You know she just let Miss Bruce start back doing hair. <laughs> girl, Miss Bruce, cut her hair, girl. Watch the hair, baby. Watch the hair. That's a too bad. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's no she no shade. She was gonna need on Donald Trump tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we saw Miss Bruce get a man, right? We had saw Miss Bruce get a man earlier in the season. Girl, where that man at? You know Miss Bruce was a stunt queen, girl. She was a pop doctor. Did she take the man out, the construction worker? Miss <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby, Miss Bruce don't play. Miss Bruce do have. She, she can try to get her house. She can try to get her house in order. That's right. Miss Bruce do have. She 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 do seal. She run checks, honey. She needs to perform more. Listen, yeah, she sang. She needs to perform more. Girl, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Miss Bruce, money. Miss Bruce, made you walk up down there and go to the basement, girl. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm about to go to the basement, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bruce said she she do she's the pump oh, doctor baby. Pump, yes, she said give me let me pump some titties up in here. Let me get some titties out okay. there. <coughs> the baby, Miss Bruce was pumping the fish and everybody, honey, the queens, Carlotta. <laughs> mm. Thank you. I love you too. I'm gonna be in in, in uh I'm gonna be in Baltimore DMV. I'm gonna be in. Up there in that area soon. I think I'm gonna take the Queen Supreme Court, and that's the first place I'm gonna stop, like on one of my tours there, you know. But we we've been talk we've been in talks about it. But I got a lot of little stuff planned. But you know, but D, but but the DMV that's area. Well, well oh baby, I love the DMV. Girl, you hear me? And y'all eat crabs and stuff like y'all got the best crab that Maryland the Maryland crab cakes. Baby, baby, you know we can't, we can't buy without food stamps anymore, girl. So girls been getting them. Girl, they done. <laughs> no, girl, so they done took the food stamps away. Girl, Donald Trump is stopping girls from getting them with the food stamps. No, Donald food Trump stamps. doing a lot of. Well, listen, I was never eligible to get no food stamps anyway, child. I would have loved. Listen, Great. I would have loved to have got me some food stamps, child. The way Miss Mary had me running in and out the store. <laughs> All right, baby. But I'm gonna let you get to this last part. I love you. I love you too, boo. I see you soon. See you soon. Okay. You, All right, Jamil. Let's take this last call, child, hun. So Miss Mary got this good old chicken in here. All right, last call. I'll call us two nine six nine. It's a star. Two nine six nine. After show finale, hosted by Diaz Madison, talked about five portion name. When you call us, tell me what you like about tonight's episode or the season. Go ahead. Hey, Maddie, again. What's up? What's up, boo? Oh, it's Florida, boo. Oh, yes, you back. Yes. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I bring, back. I bring, I bring me. So did you agree with did you agree with what I said about the ding a ling about drunk ding a ling is good ding a ling? Yes, ma'am. That's right. Yes. Yes, God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's how I that's how I had got Miss Mary's first grandbaby. No. I, I'm right now. I had came home from the club. 
The boy was drunk. I was well, drunk. Listen. I had done fell down. The next thing I knew, I got up. I was pregnant. No, 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 no. Uh, but listen, 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 listen. I'm, on a, I'm trying to figure out if the girl gonna still be pregnant or not? Yeah, Ayana, I don't know. I ain't never seen nobody get shot in the stomach when they were pregnant and then got up and lived and had and the baby. And survived, right, and the baby survived, right. That girl, that's, that's only on TV. Enough... Uh, unless she yeah, got shot yeah. in her arm. Now, if she got shot in her arm, that's a whole different story. If she got her arm blowed off. That's true, because we never did see actually where... Well, she, right, we just saw the blood. Yeah, we just saw that. But let me tell you something. Lee Days is not playing with the children, honey. Uh, I, I didn't watch yeah, him. Playing on about cliffhangers. But you got to have cliffhangers like that for the, you know the people get the people, you know, to come in for the next yeah, season. Yeah, they have everybody going had an anticipation waiting. Yeah, ready. Rating ready, cock, yeah. lock, cocked, and everything ready, baby. Okay, but look. Child, he, the legs done got better. He can run now. He can run. Now, I, listen, I still don't think he got long no. enough. I don't think he no. got long he enough wood. I don't think he got the long enough wood, honey. He too pretty. You know when they be too pretty like that. I don't, I don't, I don't think he got enough wood either, baby. Not after, not after uh, Noah. Right, guys. Now, now it looked like no. You see all that rough mustache, that rough beard, that bird that Noah got all around his face. And I be seeing little pricks when Noah be having on them uh when he be having on them gray sweats. I be looking, I be to the screen like this, like Lord Wes, Lord, I see. Lord, I can see that. I see that. I see. Noah been taking her up and through that, baby. Baby, giving her all kinds of problems and things. Them niggas that give you all kinds of problems and they keep uh, keep running back and forth to the men's girl. You know what it's about. Exactly. You know what it's about. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Child, mama, um, women put up with them men. They put up with all that stuff with them right. men because either he's standing up in that thing from the bike, it's either he's right. either standing up in the front of the back or he's doing a lot of eatery. No, no, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. It's causing maybe their situation. What kind of situation? They homopathy, they can get better, better, better in their situation. Let me tell you something. And I, 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 a woman, a woman is the key to life. There is no reason why a woman needs to feel any type of way that she can't get out of no relationship because it's a man way around the corner for her. On every corner. It ain't a, all women don't want to run. Not. All women don't want to run with all different kinds. But of it's men. not running with all different type of men. Listen, it's getting your mind. It's making your mind get away. If a nigga is abusing you hey, that, and that, doing these things to you, woman should stand in there. she ain't no woman got no business. She got no. to understand that that God gave her instant credit. God birthed a woman with instant credit. That's right, now. You misunderstood what I was what I was trying to say. So um, you, no, you Mama. What I'm what saying is, say. a lot of women stay with men that be abused because they they feel like they he love me. No, they feel like they can't right. do no better. Either they can't do no better, or they stay in it for the financial. It's, uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Self what they self esteem be messed up. What I was right, trying to say right. to you that it ain't all the time. It's about right. how much yeah, you standing up in and all that junk. It's certain circumstances like finance they might be dealing with a little a little longer. Miss Mary, I, listen, I love you, Mama, and I know women w women supposed to have lots of morals and things like that. But listen, if I was the woman, yeah, but if I was a woman <laughs> like that, there would be no way that I would be in a relationship just for financial gain. If a man whooping me, stomping me, breaking me, no woman, should, you didn't hear what I. You said. No, yeah, I'm not. You you didn't like say it. stay in it, Mama. You didn't say that. You said some you women feel. Too. You, you miss what some of the things I said. I said a lot of times it ain't just about no dealing. They do together regardless if they get their ass or something. Yeah, well, but that's what I was saying. But Mama, a lot of times it do be about that. And it do a lot of times the women won't leave a man because he she 
she feels like a security or protection in that man. And then there are a lot of times that women won't be with, won't deal with other uh, another man because they don't want to get deemed a hoe. They don't, they don't want to get called a hoe. Yeah. Cause I, I just don't want to be. I was the kind I just didn't want to be with no two and three different men. I don't care that if I broke up with. I'm like right now I'm by myself right now. I, so so you can't speak that for all. No, I'm not speaking that for all women. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's all different reasons why women. Yeah, it is, Mama. I know that it's a lot of different. It's, I'm, I understand that it's a lot of different reasons. I understand and I totally agree with what you're saying, mama, but there are lots of women who stay in situations because they be like, well, how, how, what I'm going to do? How I'm going to live? How I, I, he, he got the house. He got the car. He got the bank account. He got this. That's his stuff, though. You get up and get your job yourself. This right. is, you misunderstood what I was see, trying to say. I've been in situations of certain things. About with, with, with a child care, care. I needed that child care. Bill. I needed that extra you know, money for that child care. care. But, then, but he but was. Right. But a man was not beating you, though. Now, hell no. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. I don't take them. See, that's something I'm not taking. Money, but we talking about money. them that's letting us be in an right. abusive relationship. Well, well, but what I was saying, they'll do anything. They'll do anything. Yeah. But there was several things you said you were saying about the, the dingling. Now, but mama, we not going to sit up here and act like that a lot of women yeah, ain't. A lot of, a lot of women are still in relationship because the dingling ain't good. Yeah, they'll leave their own children. They'll, they'll put their own children to the side for that. Now, I done seen that. There, are, there are a lot of yes. women that are in and I done seen. They're abandoning their children for a piece of meat. That and it's ridiculous. I'm trying yes. to tell you because because Precious Mama said it. They say who? <laughs> Listen, Precious, yeah, Precious yeah, Mama stood yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, Precious yeah, Mama yeah, stood yeah, up there. Yeah, precious yeah, Mama yeah. said, "Who? Oh, now who's supposed to love me? Who? Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you think yeah. you better than me now? Cause you done slid up there. You done gave him two children." When I was when I was when I was doing my role, ain't never been that good for me to turn on my children. For Did you forget all the uh, what's the name? Phoebe J. Women. They they getting to be mentally, right. physically, and emotionally. Who's supposed to love me? And all that, Jamel. Yeah, and then you know what I'm saying? Coming on TV, signing up to put this shit on, on reality TV instead. Like, right. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but. I mean, I just feel like a man is a low down there. If listen, I do not promote no man putting a hand on no woman. And I don't like to see men because I, I ain't never seen my mama get beat and I don't I don't go I don't get into that. You get what I'm saying? Now also on that same thing, I don't feel like women should be jumping up in no man's face. Well if you're gonna jump up in the right. man's face right. and ball your fist up like you're right. gonna knock a man yeah, out. Right. Cause there are a lot of women that will fight me, and I'll that's right, period. Oh, that's right. right. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting up here like, girl, what's the tea? I'm gonna open the garage, girl. You take it 45 minutes, girl. I'm gonna go back over there and close the garage back down. <laughs> I didn't I know what you. was going on. I seen you when you was moving. I look right there. And you was yeah. Oh, you better be glad don't, I won't got that right ring. You peeping in that yeah. window. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't have to. I'm saying, I'm glad I oh, wait a minute. Glad. There's somebody in the comment section that said, Who's selling EBT cars here? Who got the number? Pass it to me. <laughs> All right, baby. We're going to go to close this segment out, child. Honey, mama's this time. We're gonna, I'm going to talk a little bit up there on the line, and then I'm gone, girl. I'm gone. Thank you, girl. All right, baby. I love Thank you. you. You're welcome, boo. Yes, Jamel. So, what, Jamel? I, what you thought about the whole situation of the show when you watched it? I, I I liked it. I think 
I think Brandy should have had a bigger part. I think she needs to expand. No, you know what, Brandy? Listen, Brandy. Quit being I just think that Brandy did perfect, and Brandy had the perfect spots because though in those low areas, Brandy brought the show up high. I did like that. Right. I have not seen this side of Brandy, you know, acting right. ever. So I do and really enjoy this, and I love the way that she said, like she made him put her his fingers inside of her twat, and then told him to right. sniff it and say, "You need to go out there, you know what I'm saying, and make sure that your mama them good over there at that coffee shop, and why you ain't telling me they was white." See that that was gangster to me. Right, right. That was gangster right. to me. I think she did. I think she did well. But before he merged him, I want to see him do like a movie, especially with Brandy, because it's just like Janet Jackson. We didn't know she could really go that. Deep in accident until Tyler Perry put on, and then now we're saying Brandon is aspect. You don't remember Janet Jackson was getting burnt by that? Uh uh, don't do that. Uh uh, Jimmy, don't do Janet. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, back it up. Don't do Janet Jackson like that. You didn't, you didn't, you don't remember, you don't remember Penny getting burnt by that? Ah, you don't remember Penny getting burnt by that? Ah, that ain't no accident, man. Penny was getting burnt by that? Ah, every day. They was burning Penny every day with that eye. Don't you do that. That is not no... Penny no was getting burnt with that eye. I knew what Janet could do because, I, I, listen, I never would have thought that, that her mama was burning her with that eye like that every day. <laughs> Everybody knows. There was no, there was no expensive action, though. We, we, like, when, when she was trying to blow a nigga up... Listen, that, there was... A, that there was... was that was a stint of acting because ain't no way I'm gonna be able to hide a nigga burning me with an eye every day. <laughs> if Miss Mary was burning me with an eye every day, because niggas stand up in the bank. In the, from the bank. Mm. Right from the bank. So mm. that's why. If listen, if Miss Mary was they're burning they're, they're, they're me, they're on that they're concealer and keep it moving. If Miss Mary was burning me with an eye every day, there was no way I could I couldn't hide that. <laughs> Mom, you don't remember Penny getting burnt with that eye? That was a good time. What that was? Yeah, that was a good time. Penny was getting burnt up with that eye, honey. Yeah, good time. Baby, tan her up, honey. You know. And then, honey, she is, she is a great actress because she act like she don't be going down there getting that liposuction with her ass be 437 pounds. And then two weeks later, she be a size zero. I don't know how she do it. Maybe she eating those lollipops from flat tummy tea. I'm not sure. <laughs> But every time I see Janet, honey, after a while, you don't she get missing, and then she be you, you pop a picture of her somewhere, <laughs> and she be four hundred and thirty seven pounds, and then two weeks after that, she be skinny. I'll be like, girl, now you know you don't went down there, girl, over there to the suction people, and so they done suck that stuff out, girl. You know that now, girl. You gotta get ready for a war tour. She soon as she get ready for a tour, girl. She be 437 pounds. Be like, damn, Janet B. <laughs> and it's only two things that put weight on you like that. Now, I love Janet. Now, I'm not, I am not. I want to say this and I'm gone. This ain't no reading to Janet. I'm getting off of Janet. Okay? I, think gonna take your ass. I love Janet. Like, I got to put this in the app. But every time I see Janet Jackson thick like that, I said, nah, Janet pregnant. Why y'all crying? <laughs> Why y'all crying? Yeah. You mean to tell me you don't think Janet Jackson I had a few churns? She, I should have had a couple churns. Y'all quiet. Every time Janet's gonna go. She didn't have two. She done had a few kids. She get missing and she be 437 pounds and then two weeks later she be a size zero. I be like, girl, what is it? Pounds. Okay, she might be 400. I put 37 pounds on her. But she be big, and then next thing you know, she small. Uh, oh. <laughs> but what about her face? You think she got worked into her face? Her cheeks look bigger. Jamel, when Janet gets small, Janet is, is, is one of the most breathtaking women to grace the earth. Okay? Let's be clear. Janet is gorgeous. You see, even I'm fat. You see the weight go up and down with me. <laughs> and you see my cheeks be puffed up and fat. So I'm not going to sit here as a fat person 
as a heavy set person, I'm not going to sit here and act like Miss Thing that when the weight go up, everything on this man, her, her, her face be full, her body be full. I've seen pregnant women, okay? All my life, I've, all my life I've hung with women. I know when women is pregnant and I know when they stay fat. Now, I done seen Janet Jackson go from 437 pounds <laughs> to zero. I done seen Janet so big one time, I said, God damn. Damn, she looked like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I done seen that. I done seen that. And then, two weeks after I done seen that, I'm like, damn. How Janet get down to the size of this row? How she get that love? <laughs> so how many kids do you think she got? I think that Janet got about four children. No, I say about two. I, I, I think she got about four what children. From, from what years do you think she had? Well, I, 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 I definitely think Janet got a 32-year-old daughter. No. I think one of her kids is almost 40. I, I think that. I think Janet had a baby when she was real young. Then I think she had a baby down the line. And then I think she had another baby. I think this, I think this last baby is Janet, like fourth baby. I do. You got to realize Janet Jackson is a super, is a world renowned superstar. You can't be, you can't be pregnant and, 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 and have it and be a no mama. She can't be putting babies out like that and then. And then still turn turn the world and, and setting the stage for Beyonce now. Yeah, right. Mama, how you gonna be? The, how you gonna be? How you gonna be having a baby? How you gonna be? Mama, come on, man. She's a superstar. <laughs> The lady is a superstar. They, they, they she ain't going to... take their children with them wherever they go. They can have them with Miss Mary, you know that family got more secrets. Forward. You know that family got more secrets than the CIA and FBI combined. You know that. You know that Jackson family got more secrets than NASA. Okay? No, I don't. I don't keep up with all that kind of stuff like that. I don't keep up with all that. All that I don't keep up with all that kind of stuff. Well, that family got more secrets than NASA. So I ain't gonna sit up here and act like that. I don't think that she done had four kids, and she keep them. Yeah, I think she was pregnant by James. She done keep them children hidden. Mama, that family is royalty. That's a royal family. And that's a music royal family. And you get some of that stuff. They don't want all that scandal. Mama, do you know two brothers got kids from the same woman? So they kids is brothers and cousins. Well, it, like I what's said, what's it? What's Jermaine Cherry name? Jermaine, Jermaine Jackson got churn from his brother's wife. Well, they got children, they, and their kids is brothers and cousins at the same time. Well, whatever here in the Bible said, it'll, be, it'll soon be found out. Right? They were, you know, of course. They, they, yeah, somebody said that's facts. That's right. They got kids that's brothers and cousins at the same time. So you, it's a lot of stuff. Going on in you that. You got that in our families. You might not know it. It's, you might well say that maybe about in every family, especially when they was in the countryside, the family where they was. We got it. In that's our right. Family. Somebody said Jermaine and Randy got the same baby mama. Yeah, that's right. They got the same, and it's a lot of that family is secrets. But you know, it's different in our family, mama. Our family ain't no ain't no family where it's gonna be all in the media and stuff like that. You know, we gossip about we gossip about it at the barbecue. <laughs> you talk about it at the family reunion because you sit up there looking at your cousin and you like, why in the hell do we look exactly alike in the face? <laughs> Girl, you be at the you be at the family reunion looking at your cousin in the face. You be like, wait a minute, what the hell is going on in here? Why do we got the same color eyes and hair? We got a lot of the eyes. Why do we got the same face structure? And your uncle and your uncle sitting over there looking at you like that's my child, but you you calling him Uncle Fred, and Fred is your daddy. Man, please, they need to cut that mess out. You be sitting over there, and your cousin is dark as hell, black as tar, and you and you light as a light bulb, 
And y'all looking at each other like, why is she so dark and I'm so light, but we look <laughs> just alike in the face. And then you be trying to sit up here and figure out why your two aunts don't speak no more. You like, why my aunt why my aunt don't <laughs> But that ain't no secret how y'all ain't nobody saying nothing. You know? Yeah. Ain't nobody, everybody, the family yeah. union, like, this is why they don't get along yeah, with each other. The two aunts, listen, the two aunts over there looking at each yeah. other, they won't even speak. They won't even speak to each other. You trying to figure out why, and both of your, both of their kids looking just alike in the face, and you like, that's why right now. That's why. You, you, that's why. You sitting up over there saying, I don't know what to call you. Do I call your brother or do I call your cousin? What do I call you? Because me and you got the same daddy. I'm just calling him uncle for right now. <laughs> Smiling faces. All the while they want to take your place. Oh, somebody come and say, oh, no. She said, yeah, my grandma... My grandma used to call her dad uncle because he was married to her mom's sister. I mean, we go through that kind of stuff. It's, in, it's almost in every family. We go through that type of stuff, especially in the South. Girl. Right. Especially down here oh. in the South, honey. You be sitting but, over there. They the holier than now, the Bible. The Bible Belt. Belt. Yeah. We down here in the yeah. Bible Belt. Everybody yeah. laying and praying the and Bible preaching. Belt. Listen, yeah. and, and Sister Bertha and Sister Ernestine, honey, oh, over there. The baby, they mad at each other, girl. You sitting over here looking like, what's? I can't yeah. figure out what's going on. And, and they go to the same church. Yes. Oh, yes. Mr. C down here. Mr. C, where you at, girl? Same pew. Yes. Uh, yeah. Them, that's some Jesse fans. That's exactly what they do. And be tight lipped with whatever they fan. Acting like they, they shit don't stay. And, and, and they judging everybody else. And they, Jesse Bell and everything else. Yeah, judging everybody else. And they doing way more sin than the people they putting in hell. Well, you know, listen. Because it's, a, yeah, I do have some questions in our family. Because it's a, it's a couple of them. I, would, yeah, I ain't going to name them. Because they know who they is. Because it's a couple of them. I was looking at each other. I said, Mama, it's okay. Cause they cousins? And you was like, hmm. And I was like, Mama, are they? they? And you say, well, they sister's kids. So that made them. I said, Mama, no. No. Because me and your sister's kids, we don't look nothing alike. But mm -hmm. them two sister's kids look exactly. They the same skin color, the same face. I thought they was twin. And I say, but it's features and it's features, but not like Dale's on Williams. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. It's it's a lot of them in our family who on both sides. I ain't getting in that. On both sides. I ain't cause they cause our family yeah, because they like one of their cups or something. Our family follow us and I ain't getting into that cause I show mm -hmm. cause I be looking at them every time I see them, I be like, girl, y'all sisters, y'all sit up there talking about Y'all sit up there talking about some y'all. Yeah, listen, they said that talking about their first cousin. I'm like, no, nah, y'all sisters. Y'all ain't first cousins. Y'all sisters. Y'all sisters. Y'all two sisters right there. Because you don't even look like that with your other sisters. <laughs> How you and your first cousin look just alike like that? How, your, how you two first cousins look like this and you and your other sisters don't even look like that? Y'all sisters. Mm -mm. What Messi see it? They say Messi see down here in the comment section. Messi see where you at, girl? Oh, Messi see. Yes. Look at your face. But Jamel, that's for real though. It's the truth. Like that's for real. We don't been at the family reunion. I don't been look the family reunion barbecue Not no family or whatever it is. Funeral. The funerals, the people, you, and listen, you, them people be done died and you get to the funeral and you looking, and you looking at your cousins right. and you looking at them people and you like, wait a minute, you know? <laughs> everybody gets to scatter like roaches. You no, know, no, everybody don't get to scatter and you know me. Well, you just, you just. One thing you know about me, Jamel, my eyes is going to tell the story. If y'all been watching me for a long period of time, my facial expressions tell the story. I can't hold my facial expression when I see something that I that I find strange, and, and I see two. Why families don't get along? And I see two cousins life. sitting up there looking like two, and I'm like, right. Yeah, I ain't looking at you. 
Mm, I hate nobody got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> it be cycles of all kind of sex demons and rapes and yeah, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of a child molesters. And then I'm looking at them, and then I'm asking them, "Well, mama, nobody, nobody yeah. ain't saying nothing. They only at the funeral because we all kin to this one person. And then them two not speak. They mama's not speaking." And I'm like, okay, I see why y'all mama's not, why the two aunts ain't speaking because these cheering, uh -huh. they cheering look just, because I'm the type, I'm, I'm, my eyes is messy. I'm like, And then you see the daughter. I mean, excuse me. You see they dad. You see the man that's that's supposed to be their daddy, and the man that's the other one daddy. And you sitting there like, oh no, this wrong. No, Uncle Fred. <laughs> Uncle Fred, no. You. <laughs> Uncle Fred, no. Uncle Fred, you you the one caused the two sisters not to be speaking. You dead wrong for that. Right. Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred, you was dead wrong for that. Hmm. Dipping and dabbing. It's a lot of it. But see, I'm telling and this is why me, women, yes, somebody say, am I still talking about this? Yes, girl, because this is what, I, I, I'm sorry, this is what happened. Look, look, somebody put Daddy Fred in the comment section. <laughs> what? Somebody put Daddy Fred. Daddy Daddy Fred. Yeah, Uncle Fred is Daddy Fred. Yes. Uh, somebody say, every time stuff like that happen, I turn to my mama asking her all types of questions. <laughs> my listen, I'm going to tell you what breaks a funeral up. You know what breaks a funeral up? Excuse me, Kitchen. Hey, y'all. Motion detector. When I when I'm standing over one of my kin folks casket, looking all in the casket, child. <laughs> when I'm all at the when I'm all at the funeral, when I'm at the when I come to the funeral, what's up, Miss Blair White? Listen, listen. When I get to the funeral, you hear me? When I show up to the funeral, and I be all down in the casket, then I walk away like this. And I walk away like that. And listen. And they over there saying, ain't that Louise's son? <laughs> and people like, bitch, Tim look just like a woman. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm all bent over in the casket like this. <laughs> Baby, I will turn, listen. I turns out all, listen, let me tell y'all something. I turns out all funerals. Listen, I turned out all funerals, all family reunions, all cookouts, all wakes. I turn all that stuff out because I show up with me old nasty body dress on. Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> I busts up high school reunions. I get to the high school reunion. Tear a high school reunion up. Hey, y'all. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> Child, I ain't seen y'all in a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, yeah, Uncle Fred, listen. Now I know why you walk in. Uh, Uncle Fred, go to. Okay. Listen. Uncle Fred, go to standing up saying, Godly. Okay. Godly. I don't know why you. Okay. Uncle Fred standing up there. 
Listen. Miss Mary is just shaking her head. Jamel. No, oh. not, that just answered my question. That, that just answered something. Nah, I know why. Right. That's why she be. That's why she be acting like that. Nah, I know why. I'm at. Listen, I'm at the funeral, standing over the cast. I'm at. I'm over the. I'm over the casket like this that for a whole. Almost be late for a whole 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> and this what they see in front of the back. That we always be almost late. And many, they over there saying, Louise, I thought you had three sons. <laughs> Louise, I thought you had three sons. One thing about me, when I show up to the film room, I have these titties pushed up like this. Them titties be, nah. them titties be, them titties be air lifted. Louise! <laughs> I, Louise, I thought you had three boys! And I be standing there. <laughs> Listen, all the uncles over there looking and saying, God damn! I'm over there for, I'm over there standing like this. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Let me explain something. I'm from the South. I live in the South. And I don't care. Y'all call me fat all day. But I'm where they love fat women's at. And anytime a fat broad like me walk in there, I bust the scene up because I ain't that kind of fat. I'm this kind of fat. This kind. So you know Uncle Fred, them sitting over there. Uncle Fred, them sitting over there. I'm over there telling you, come on, mama, let's go. Come on, mama, let's go. That explains everything. Come on, mama. Now I know you're a little okay. Terrible, Come on, mama, let's terrible. go. I mean, <laughs> who? Oh, who? Now that explains everything. Who? Who? I'm from the south. I will come break. Listen, this is for Miss Mary. Listen, I will come. I will come break your funeral up. I will break up the funeral. I will break up the what's that? What's up, Willow? Hey, baby. Listen, I will come break your funeral up. I'll come break up your family reunion. I'll break your baby party up. Your baby's party. Your Christmas. Your your Christmas party at your job, Miss Mary. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Oh, I over in that grade. I destroy. My high school reunion. I destroyed my high school reunion. Do you hear me when I tell you this? I didn't go. Is it 20 years already, Mom? I didn't go to the 20 year one. Did I didn't go to the 20 year one. I went to the 10 year one. I, I went to the 10 year 10 year reunion. My 10 year reunion. And listen, if the if if the father lets me make it to my 30 year reunion. I'm destroying my 30 year reunion if any of them still left alive. But baby, no. I destroyed my 10 year re class reunion. I went up in that thing, baby. I was and I was a little bit smaller than this, baby. I was big, baby. All oh, this was going on. Boom! When I bust off in that thing, they was like, and then I was like, hi, you remember it's me, Timothy. Cause I'm I don't I ain't worried yeah. nothing about that. Yes, because I was the prom king in prom school. King. And they, they, they talked about our prom king from 1990, whatever year it was. And they was like, I was like, hi guys, hello, it's me. And I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> I say, some of y'all already know who I am because y'all done, uh, uh, done clientele with me. Y'all already knew who I was, child, honey. Y'all been having me, honey, before I even moved out of Miami, girl. Y'all been clienteling with me. Y'all been spending y'all nasty coins with me back in the day, girl, honey, when I started transforming. When I became the first transformer, child, y'all was already you clienteling with me. So y'all already knew who the hell I was anyway. Y'all was calling me Miss Tim back in the day. When you was licking the first set of titties that I had when I had titty nipples. When y'all was just licking the nipple. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> yeah, hey, Edith. Oh, my God. My life finna go off. <coughs> Miss Mary, you can't take that. I'm sorry. You can't take that, Miss Mary. You over. They say Miss Mary is over it, honey. No, I know what you've been doing. What? We ain't been late to nothing else. Oh, no, Miss Mary. Don't do me like that. Child, I got, I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back. My life for the go on. Child.